Welcome to the ultimate used MacBook guide. Hi, I'm Chris from Techable, and in today's video, we're gonna be showing you what to look out for when buying a used MacBook. The first thing to check when buying a MacBook is the cosmetic condition. Are there dents on either side, and how do the corners look? More than just looking bad, dents can actually affect how the laptop runs. Be sure to check inside all of the ports. Check for things like broken pieces or food particles and gum. Believe it or not, there have been things like gum or putty found inside ports being sold online. Make sure to also check all of the keys. Do they push well and are they sticking? This can be a sign of broken keys. Always make sure to check the trackpad. Look out for debris in the sides or corner of the trackpad. This can be wiped away with a small microfiber cloth. Also worth noting, if your MacBook does have a CD drive, bring a disc with you to test it out. A common problem with MacBooks is screen delamination. The anti-reflective coating that comes with the screen will begin to peel off, making the screen look very strange and damaged. Screen delamination is common in MacBooks from 2012 and onward, with the problem becoming less frequent as time goes on, but it is something to look out for when buying any MacBook at all. One of the first things to do when you have your laptop is to run the Apple Diagnostic. With the MacBook turned off, hold Option and D, and then press the Power button. Still holding Option and D, the computer will boot into Diagnostic. This is used to find any major issues with your RAM or SSD, or if there's any other hardware issues. While testing the MacBook, be sure to check for GPU issues. This will show up as horizontal lines across the screen or the computer freezes for no reason. A good way to test for GPU issues is to open up a bunch of videos and see if the computer can handle it. Make sure to test out the functionality of the speakers on the laptop as well. Best way to check the speakers is to play a video or music to check for distortion. Something to consider are dead pixels in the screen. Dead pixels are small pixels that will no longer change colors. An easy way to spot dead pixels is to change the background to black. The dead pixel will stand out. Going back to the dents that could appear on either the front or back of your MacBook, sometimes these can cause something called screen clouding. Screen clouding leaves lighter spots all over the screen. One thing to consider when you're also buying a Mac is the charger it comes with. Make sure this charger is an official Apple product and not a fake knockoff. A good way to tell is by the weight of it itself. If it seems very light, it might be a fake. For more in-depth analysis on fake chargers, check out Techable's video in the link below. Make sure to check the About This Mac section to check the life of the battery of your MacBook. An indicator will suggest when you need to replace the battery if the MAH is below 80%. MacBooks from 2008 until 2012 have replaceable batteries. After 2012, the Retina Display MacBooks have batteries that are glued and very difficult to replace. The newer ones do not support replacing the battery and replacing the battery can be very dangerous. The consequences of this could be a fire or spraying battery acid. Because of how dangerous it can be, you should leave changing the battery to the professional. That'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching our Ultimate MacBook Guide. If you found this video helpful, or if you think we missed something, let us know in the comment section below. Follow us on social media, and for all things tech, visit techable.com.